Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we've got a short video for you that we're filming in our collection space down on third deck in the forward part of the ship. It used to be storekeeper's equipment. And uh, today we're going to talk about this stencil cutter. I couldn't tell you much of the provenance of this stencil cutter. It's been in this collection space for as long as I've worked for the museum. It has BB62 sharpied on it and uh, Battleship New Jersey written on this tag here. You have no doubt seen all over the ship uh, stencils. Like every single frame has a stencil written on it. The different pipes have stenciling on them to tell you what they do. Uh, and because the crew was always painting the ship, they always had to replace the stencils. So again, I'm not sure if this is something that we were able to strip off of another ship. And so the tag indicates that uh, we were claiming it and hadn't yet carried it off. Or if this uh, is an artifact of the ship that we acquired from, I don't know, found somewhere on board or that somebody found at a Navy warehouse or something. Uh, regardless, this is old and it has seen some use. And uh, I'm, I'm going to show you how to use it today. So on the top of this is all the letters and numbers and a few points of uh, punctuation. And so you're turning this arrow to whatever letter you want. And when you get it there, you're going to punch it with the handle. Um, interesting thing, none of these I've ever seen have the letter one on them. You're supposed to use I for one. So rather than taking up an extra slot and putting one on twice, you're supposed to use I. Now the one that uh, one of these I'm pretty familiar with from my last job, uh, the letter one slash I got so much work uh, that it no longer cut properly. So I always had to end up using the uh, L button and taping over it when I was painting my stencils. Likewise, the letter O serves dual functions, both O and zero. And again, that one's usually worn out and you end up using the Q and taping over the little hash bit of it. So in addition to the letters and numbers, we've got a backslash, we've got an apostrophe, a period, a comma, an ampersand, and a tack, or hyphen. Uh, so if we wanted to write the compartment number for the space we are in, 3280Q, let's see if we can uh, stencil that out. So first, we're going to insert something. In this case, it's an old manila folder I cut up. Uh, cardstock works a lot better than a regular piece of paper. It, it needs to have some thickness to it. And again, the idea is you're going to tape this to something and then spray paint over it. So again, regular piece of paper that'll bleed through uh, if you can cut it out cleanly at all. So something thick like an old folder. Uh, first, I've got to push this button and that will... Uh, oh, oh. First, I've got to push this lever until it's locked. And that's going to move the wheels here so that I can slide this into place. It's got some lines on the bottom. That is uh, so that you know which line you're on. So you, you want to line up with these lines here, push that button, and this is now locked in place. It needs to be locked in place because uh, we're about to type in our compartment number. So first, three. Notice as the number punches, it also moves the thing over for the next number. And our next number is going to be TAC. 28. TAC. Zero, which remember is the letter O. So now let's open this up and see what we got. So uh, this is my first time using this and you can see that the wheel when you're pushing down is not actually moving the paper enough. So three was good, tack was good, two and eight ended up being right on top of each other and the second tack 
didn't move enough for the zero. And it could have been some of the stuff punched out here jammed it, uh, or it could just be this thing not working particularly well. So once you had figured out what your first line was going to be, and let's assume that I actually did this right, then you would be able to insert this and line it up on the next line and then lock it in place. And you can type out your next message. Uh, so the next one would be FR 28 to 36, frame 28 to 36. So let's give that a shot. F R and then you would want to do a space which is just push that down enough to move it but not enough to punch and then I want a 2 uh, look it didn't move it there so 2 is probably having an issue on this machine 8 that didn't move it either we might be jammed up here uh, so let's try and open this up and see what we've got. Yeah, we got the F, we got the space, and then the 8 and the 2 uh, weren't actuating. So there might be something jammed up in the rollers here. Uh, maybe that's why the museum was able to acquire this, because it was no longer functional. God knows it's older than uh, the entire curatorial staff at the battleship put together. So, have you ever used a stencil cutter before? Let us know in the comment section down below. When you were in the Navy, did you have to do all of these uh, stencils after painting a space? Or did you have stickers? Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, and also from a number of uh, private institutions and viewers like you. In particular, the donations private individuals like yourselves have given us over the last year and a half have allowed us to make this a larger part of our job, and it lets us explore the ship, try out equipment like this, and uh, make more videos. We're up to five a week. If you'd like to continue to support us, there's a link in the description for that. Uh, and you can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so that other people hear about our channel. And uh, that'll let you know when we're putting out all those videos. Thanks for watching.